Okay, so this is the inside of the controller. Like you see, I have two Arduino Omega with a lot of uh, blue and a lot of wire that will control all the all the the discharge and charging process. This uh, is the for charging board. This is for discharging board. Also, they control all the leads. Led here. Uh, these are the the boards with the the temperature sensor. Also the uh, LED. So a lot of resistors here are for LEDs. So no 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 such big things. All the wire here it's all for the LEDs. Yeah, we need it only to to bring up the light on the blue, red, and green uh, status light um, also I have uh, here the discharging and charging board uh, these have eight discharging slots and uh, eight charging slot and here I have the relay will uh, the relay will take the battery from here and uh, put it on charge and discharge and change it between them so uh, if you look under the prototyping board this is like an expansion board. Uh, all the the blue connectors will take the pins from the Arduino, and also some uh, more power pins to to go to the wire. So it's not so complicated that uh, the magic it's happened here. This is the charging and discharging boards. Yeah. Uh, like you see, I have here 16 resistors. They are put each two by two in parallel, so these two are controlled by this MOSFET, the next two by this, so these are eight uh, MOSFETs in uh, M channel MOSFET, yeah, they are uh, logical MOSFET, easily uh, 44, so these are the MOSFETs, like this one, yeah, these are controlled by eight PVM sig signals from the charging board, yeah, so I have the signals goes here, if you see through the wires, it's a lot of wires because also I have the battery. We'll go two, two wires are for battery two charging, two are for the battery discharging, the control of the MOSFETs. Also, I have here the charging module. You, you can see it. These are eight TP86. Yes, these charging module. They are here. They also have the uh, take it one wire from the complete LED to read uh, if the charge is complete. Also, I see the char if the com uh, charging is completed by the uh, current sensor. Under this board are the current sensor, eight current sensor. Water uh, they read only the charging process. Yes. So um, an uh, another fact. So you'll need uh, eight PVM signals for the charging also you'll need eight uh, digital signals to start uh, the charging eight the pvm was for this charging sorry uh, eight uh, digital signals to read if this charge is, is completed like uh, the first version of my project also you'll need i have here uh, eight analog pins will go on this board to read the voltage of the battery yeah and also eight uh, eight uh, analog pins will go to read the uh, the voltage drop it on the on the resistors so these are what you need to to control this board yeah okay put it back i have uh, two fans here to cool the resistor also you need in the first version you don't need your uh, MOSFET to have uh, to have uh, radiators, but now a lot of heat is dissipated through the MOSFET. So in this uh, in the co constant current version, you'll need all the the um, MOSFET to have radiators. Also here are the are the MOSFETs who control the charge. You can see it here are P channel MOSFETs. They control the charging process. Uh, charging pro process okay so the other board here it's the uh, relay board yeah 
you can see it here it's a simple relay board 8 relay I told you it's dual channel relay yeah okay so I have only the relay here the battery comes two battery will connect to each relay yeah and from the relay will go to the discharge and charge board so the relay will uh, swap the battery from charging and to discharging port yeah and the ports will go in same time so if you use only one real you, uh, relay uh, one channel relay you can't discharge and charge uh, uh, in same time uh, to use at maximum the the time uh, of the uh, charging and discharging port so this in my first version I use a relay but a normal one so with two channel relay it's better let's uh, uh, try to make a conclusion so it's look uh, very scary with a lot of wires uh, maybe uh, you think it's uh, more complicated but it's not it's uh, more simple than the, the version 2 don't have uh, operational amplifier like I say don't have a lot of other parts it's uh, have it's uh, it's speed of tasting is double so even don't have 32 battery will taste in, in same time uh, 32 battery like the first one but uh, with only 16 ports because I add the relay board so this is awesome so with less components uh, you can build this and be two, uh, uh, two time faster than, than the precedent version also you have constant current constant load discharge mode you can also have temperature control in version 3 uh, also uh, one big thing it's all the voltage it's read it in same time so you uh, are read it also the voltage and uh, of charging and discharging voltage of the battery of all battery without using the MOOCs I told you the MOOCs was a problem in first project if the power goes down it can uh, bring you uh, with less money same results if uh, you don't want to buy a lot of um, uh, professional tester and all the data you don't forget all the data from here will go to the internet to the to the ACP SIP uh, that go behind this this uh, this board where are the current sensor also the display but I don't remove that because I need to remove all the wire here to to do it